Hello there, sword friends. I thought I would do a quick uh, show and tell, mostly highlighting these uh, these bits. These are from a company called Hyper Cafe, and they are sword fittings. So if you are looking for uh, for fittings to mount a sword or do a custom project, then Hyper Cafe is is a company that uh, that can do that. Now some of these are not from Hyper Cafe, but most most of these over here are. Uh, I have a couple other examples from Yamato Budogu, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, and Fred Lohman Company, and then just kind of arbitrary uh, Chinese sword fitting that you can sometimes find on eBay. Uh, anyway, the point is that the Hyper Cafe fittings uh, are, are really quite nice, and they do a lot of work in these kind of Hondachi or Tachi style-esque fittings, wherein they have, you know, some, some pretty cool... Uh, nice stuff. You can get them with moans of your choosing. They tend to have a lot of, of moan related things. They also have pieces with, you know, if you look on this one, it's got uh, kind of intricate looking little carvings that look like, I don't know, flowers or vines or something. And here you have uh, Nanako or what's supposed to be this kind of little uh, bumpy surface under here. Uh, and they, they have a variety of, of fittings, but a lot of them Tend to, you, you tend to be able to find these Hondachi style or Tachi style fittings with all these extra pieces and it's tougher to find that type of type of sword fitting out in the wild other than at Hyper Cafe. Now just as a case in point, this is a sword that I tend to use a lot. This is um, a, kind of a remounted Hanwei blade that many of you have probably heard me talk about. Uh, so I have Tsunami Ito from Fred Lohman, but these other fittings are all from Hyper Cafe. So this is supposed to not necessarily be the Nanako textured piece, but uh, you can see the Swirly Mitsudo Moans. These Manuki are from Hyper Cafe. And the thing I guess I would draw your attention to is they have this kind of brass gold looking stuff that they're made out of, and this is generally how they wear. So I would expect that uh, here's a new one, and mine used to have a similar kind of black, blackened look to it, but after the course of using it, uh, that patina has, has worn off a little bit, as is expected with anything that receives use, uh, and it tends to reveal this kind of goldish, bronzes, bronzes brass color underneath. So I'd, I'd just be aware of that if you didn't thematically plan to have, you know, this black wear away and have it, and maybe it would throw off your color scheme, I suppose. I suppose just note that. But otherwise, they look really good. The thing to note about the Hyper Cafe fittings is that by nature, they are really on the small side. Uh, so, this uh, Fuchi, for example, generally speaking on modern blades, it needs to be like 40 to 42 millimeters to, to fit comfortably most modern blades. And this one is just barely, barely uh, uh, 39, or it's 39 and a half on the exterior outside edge, and that really doesn't give a lot of, of wiggle room uh, to be used with most modern blades. And so that's really the, the point that you want to keep in mind, is that they tend to be on the smaller side. Which is frankly exactly why I have this here. So uh, this Tachi set was going to be used on a very Tachi-esque blade, and unfortunately, it was just too small, too restrictive to, to really be used. Uh, by contrast, here's a Fred Lohman piece, and you can see that the, you know, the basically the outer dimension adds almost, uh, you know, a little better than an eighth of an inch on the outside edge here, and it just uh, it can really make a profound difference in how, you know, that little bit can be the difference between we can make the lines of the sword flow right, or it's just going to be all kittywampus and wrong. Now, that said, um, if small works, then the plus side that you have is that they work in pretty well. So this set, for example, I have this Suba I acquired from somebody a while ago. I bet you can guess why. And then these are Edo period Manuki. Somebody uh, was at a show and and spotted these and asked me if I wanted to buy them. And I was like, oh yes, please. Uh, but you can see that they, they kind of match and contrast well with these antique fittings. So I'm able to find kind of these, these antique style things and then uh, find components from Hyper Cafe that can complete a set. And so now I'm just looking for a sword to, to stick them on. Uh, hopefully I can find a Tachi with a reasonable shape to use these on, but this is like 38 or 36 and a half millimeters at the widest. and I. It's tough to find a blade small enough to use this on that isn't, you know, like a Tonto. Uh, in terms of their construction quality, though, uh, I suppose let me grab these Fuchis here. Um, so I have Hyper Cafe sandwiched in between the ones from 
Loman and Yamato. Uh, I think the, the pieces from Yamato are, are nice. I like especially that this has like kind of a cast signature into it, which is, I don't know, an extra nice, nice effect. Uh, the Moans mounted on the Yamato pieces are very crisp and clean. I think a little better done than the Hyper Cafe pieces. And they have what looks like almost like a lacquer sheen finish. Uh, and I don't know if that would be more or less durable, frankly, but it, it gives me the impression that there is kind of an extra coating of something on here to, to keep the, the piece from wearing. Uh, the Loman fittings, Loman does a really good job with his casting quality. This is uh, pretty crisp and nice, and I don't know what kind of patina or finishing he uses. It looks like it's been blued, uh, and the other Loman fittings that I have used have all been pretty good for what they are. They're a little expensive, um, especially given the, the options that are out there today, but I can't argue that he has, you know, pretty well fit pieces. They are nice, the ca casting quality is good, and you can usually find something thematically that you like, uh, and it's, it's pretty easy to do. His website is sometimes challenging to use, it's a little little old school, but um, in any case, I, I think these Hyper Cafe fittings hold up against some of the other pieces that are out there. Just know that they wear and they show kind of a yellow color uh, but other than that, I also know that they are on the smaller side and that may add some, add an element of challenge uh, to the to the project. But you can sometimes find them that are, are larger. They're just a challenge. Anyway, uh, Hyper Cafe is uh, on eBay and they also have a website. I'll put some links in the description down below. You can find a lot of kind of obscure things that really I, I, I don't find other places at Hyper Cafe. Uh, I found little... Uh, Makugi or Makugi that are also Manuki for Tonto. Um, I don't have any examples of those here, but I did use them on a different project. Uh, they have different Kojiri. Sometimes they have some pieces in silver. Uh, you have Tachi fittings, Sageo. There's all sorts of stuff that's available for kind of customizing your sword and, and having these uh, fittings that are otherwise a little tricky to find. The downside is they, they don't tend to have stock. You know, it's not like Loman where you can go and say I want these fittings and then he will cast or hopefully he has has some available already. It, you kind of buy the fittings you're looking at. Uh, so I don't know what their methodology of construction is, but they do a good job and I, I certainly have had some luck using their fittings before. I, I think they do just fine, but just know that they are. Be sure you measure because um, I was supposed to use this set on a sword and it didn't fit and I was supposed to use this set on a sword and it didn't fit. These Fuchis being small are what prevent me from typically using it on more modern modern pieces. Anyway, that is all I have for you at this point. I hope it's been interesting. As always, cheers and thanks for watching.